Happy hearties and a very, very warm welcome. It's me, Scotty McClue, hashtag Flutai, just to say hi to you. Saturday morning, nothing gets past me, of course. I left it till nine o'clock because I knew a lot of you wouldn't be up and about. Some of you would have been about earlier, fair enough, fair do's, as we say in Scotland. But uh, I'm not convinced that you would have been up and about. So I thought, no, we'll leave it till uh, nine o'clock. So it's a couple of minutes to nine. It's 8.58 in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. And very, very good to have you with us live on TikTok. A very good Saturday morning to you. Welcome, welcome. Yo, good morning, Sir Scotty. Good morning, Stanzibar. How lovely to have you with us. Where are you watching from again, Stanzibar? Do tell. I think you should spill. Wonderful. Stanzibar has said, oh, <laughs> Stanzibar has just sent me a present of sunglasses. Guys, if you're feeling generous this morning, please do dig in. <laughs> because I'll tell you what, I'm needing to buy some new equipment so that I could do the phone-ins. So, uh, you know, if you're feeling generous, send me lots of sunglasses and things. From Northern Ireland, that's it, Stanzibar. How fantastic and lovely to have you. What about you, Jesse? Wonderful Saturday morning to you, Super Scotty. Alfonso Belefanti. See, it's lovely to hear from you. How fantastic is that? Thank you, dear, my favorite legend, Wilfred Jefferson. How are you? How lovely to hear from you. My goodness me, this is amazing this morning. Fantastic stuff. There we go. No, seriously, don't feel obliged to give a single thing, guys. You don't have to, but it would be wonderful if you could help out on this one. I'll tell you, it's an important bit. Dink you do, Mr. Turboy. Turboy. I'll call you Turboy in case you go on tour. Dink you do to you. I am still here. I thank you so much. I am still is a very, very, very generous person and has sent me lots of beautiful things. He's sending me weights for my bodybuilding. How amazing is that? I absolutely love it. 50 beautiful weights. I am still here. That is just so very, very kind of you. Thank you, folks. Very much appreciated. But please don't think I'm not asking you uh, that you have to give anything at all because you don't. This is absolutely 100% free. But as I say, I'm going to have to purchase a bit of equipment for the phone-ins. So if anybody's feeling generous, please feel free to dig in. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Right, there we are. Fantastic stuff. Nick and Danny have joined us. A very, very warm welcome. If you've just joined us, folks, remember, never scroll, never troll. Scotty McClue, you don't want to miss a second. Otherwise, you miss a moment of life. And that's not good for you. So come and join us and have a bit of fun. Dinky Do, my favorite legend, says our friend Wilfred. There, Dinky Do, Wilfred. Ollie. Thank you so much for following. That is a tremendous help. So there we are. Tremendous and uh, very, very much appreciated. If you've just joined us, folks, a very good morning to you. It's Scotty McClue, hashtag Floatai, first thing in the morning on TikTok. I think a promotion is in order. Emperor McClue, Stanzibar, what about you for that, Emperor McClue? I'll come over and run the whole of Northern Ireland for you. Uh, I'll sit and I'll tell you, I'll go to Stormont and I'll just sit in there till everybody comes in and behaves themselves. Fantastic. Uh, name a footballer for an edit. Oh, Freddie. George Best. Tremendous stuff there you are. My mum just gave a bath. Raheem, that is fabulous. Do you have a new brother or a sister? We need to know. I think we should be told. Thank you for following. Uh, please do them. Yes, these people couldn't run a bath. Stancy Bar. <laughs> Is that what the people think? It wouldn't surprise me if that's what the people think. Dave from Calder Crooks. Good morning, Scotty. Have you said it right? Thank you. And there's Erin. Thank you. Hello, Erin. How lovely to have you with us. Love you, Mac brother. Ah, Jason. Thank you, Dula. Uh, I'm going to be a dad. Uh, so there you are. Fantastic news. That is absolutely wonderful. We love that. So there you go, top man. Isn't that just amazing?
Now then, what do you think of Man United? Well, I love Man United because when I worked in Manchester at Century Radio at Salford Keys, Media City, just along from the Lowry, I used to, my back looked over, my back looked over Man United, Old Trafford, and Alex Ferguson was the manager and they were lifting all the trophies. Top of the morning to Scotty Dink. You do, Jay. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, 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 I say. Hello, it says Orla. Hello, Orla. Dink, you do. How lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome. This is just tremendous. James has joined us. Wonderful stuff. Welcome, James. And a very good morning to all of you if you've just arrived. Thank you very much. Uh, what about a wee tune, Sir Scotty? Well, what about you? I've got the squeeze box here, so I'll be giving you a wee tune, but not quite yet. So there you are. Good morning, sir. Hashtag float eye, think you do. Can you handle a jewel? Says I am dot still here. Oh, I can handle jewel. I can handle stitches. I can handle comments. I can handle all these things. It's just terrific. The anticipation is building. Stancy bar. I tell you, oh, there's tension in the air. McClue might give us a tune in his squeeze box. So he will. There we are. Fantastic. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, Duncan. Have a lovely day, Dinky Doo. Johnny Edward Evans. How lovely to hear from you, and you have an outstanding day. Love being you, by the way. Bigfoot's joined us. Thanks for following Bigfoot. Dinky Doo says Duncan. Duncan, a big Dinky Doo to you from Scotty McClue. Saturday morning. Nothing gets past me, you see. I can tell you all these things. And it is just tremendous to be with you. Are we talking the 21st today, 21st of August? Where does the time go, guys? Now, very, very big news for you. I shall be doing a phone-in either on YouTube or a radio station. And it's coming up very soon. I need a piece of equipment. I'm not on the tap. But if you're feeling generous, a few TikToks here and there would also make a difference. So thank you for that, I say. But uh, yes, I need to get this piece of equipment, but we're going to get the phone ins going. So I want you to know that. Also, can you subscribe to the YouTube channel? You'll see the URL right in front of you there. Yes, it's there. Dodsey in the Isle of Man here. Hello, Dodsey. Lovely to have you with us. Can you say... The Britannic is sinking, abandoned ship Beanie. I would never say that, although Brexit has sunk Britannia. There is no doubt about that, yes. End of rule Britannia with Brexit, I'll tell you that. Forget it. We're 350 billion down the Swanee. 250 billion of that is Brexit. So don't let anybody pass that off as anything else. Thank you for following us. Lovely to have you with us and a very good morning. Morning, should I get out of bed? Well, atrocious. Let's look at this sensibly. Do you need to get out of bed? Do you have a, a bodily requirement to get out of bed? Do you have to nip to a place? Do you have to pay a visit? Because if you don't, then why would you get out of bed? Can you see Scotty McClue in your bed? If you can see me in, in your bed, then that's absolutely If I just watch on TikTok and stay in bed until we're finished. So there we are. Have you ever visited East Kilbride? I have, Rizzy, the home of the roundabout. Now, what can I tell you about East Kilbride? The Whirlies. Does that ring a bell? The Whirlies in East Kilbride. How amazing is that? I love your accent. Thank you so much, Giger. It's very, very kind of you. Trying to do a duel. Let's go. I am still. It shouldn't be a problem. I think you just tap and pop up and come on. Follow us as soon as you can. Dink you do, lol, says Atrocious. Lol. No, no, Atrocious. You stay in bed, la. What's the weather like round about your parts, if you'll pardon the pun? There we go. Uh, now, who have we got here? On the flip side of Brexit, we did get the vaccine approved much early in the EU. Stansy Bar, we certainly did, but I don't know how much difference that actually made, you know, because we're hearing that it doesn't... Um, well, I'm not going into all that. Uh, there we are. What part of Scotland are you from? I can't place your accent. Pure broad Glasgow. 
I speak with a pure broad Glasgow accent. I'm a Glaswegian. There we are. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Dinky do. Hello, says Joe. Hello, Joe. What's happening, Scotty? Well, Sean, you'll never believe just how much is happening this morning. We are exceptionally busy on here. Say hello to all the staff at the Royal Hospital in Glasgow. Johnny, of course I can. Everyone at the Royal Hospital, thank you so much for everything you do for all of us. You wonderful, wonderful people. Mwah! Shout out to the NHS, I say. There we are. Who's just giving me a big present there? What do you think about Biden's American withdrawal from Afghanistan? I think it's shocking. I think that that presidency will fall apart and they might have to bring old Trump in as a sort of, uh, what would you call it? Uh, a stand in a regent, <laughs> we'd call it if it was royal. Another Glasgow boy, thank you, Sean. Who sent me a panda? Stansy Bar, thank you so much. You have a very posh Glasgow accent. Oh, no, Iona, this is a very rough Glasgow accent. This is the way we rough our people who speak in Glasgow. You know see? So that's that. Uh, I think people don't realize that, you know, once you get to the rougher end of Glasgow, they're all Scotty McClue sound alikes. Hello, how are we? How dinky-doo are we tonight? If Trump had withdrawn troops in Afghanistan, can you imagine the news coverage totally biased? Well, Stanley Bar, you're 100%. In fact, the more I look at the Donald and study it, you remove mainstream media fluff and froth and bubble, and you find out that the man was actually pretty spot on. So there you are. So I think maybe Uncle Joe might have just been a wee error of judgment. Uh, for some people, but however, we'll press on. But coming out of Afghanistan, naughty, naughty, naughty. Although policing the world nowadays, guys, is expensive. You have to pay for your luxuries. And I think if countries wish to police the world, then the rest of the world says, well, if you've got deep pockets and short arms, are you mad? I'm glad that baboon Trump's no longer President Biden, much better. Dodsy on. Am I mad? No. Yes, and as for calling people baboons, not acceptable on Scotty McLean's TikTok, why well, I would suggest you don't say, next time you fill up your car with gas, ask yourself if you're paying more than you did when Trump was pres. There we are. There's a simple thing for you, Lala. What's for lunch? Lunch, Xander. We haven't had the full Scottish breakfast yet. One meal at a time, I say. There we are, Mr. McClure, are you real? There we are, is anything real? Oh, RTQ, everything is real, including McClure, let me pinch myself. Whoo, yes, I'm real. Morning from rainy Yorkshire, ah, Paddy Pa, that's it, I. How's things in Yorkshire like, you know, I mean, what a great part of the world that is, eh? We love Yorkshire. And uh, we really do love it, so that's it. Uh, fantastic, eh? Right, Connor Jackson, what on earth are you going on about here? You're watching Scotty McClue, guys. If you've just joined us, hashtag flow time, never scroll, never troll. And uh, do be part of TikTok's biggest phenomenon. This is what it's all about. How many talk shows do you know on TikTok? Have you all followed me? I bet you haven't, you know. Biden's nothing to do with gas prices, you imbecile. Now, look, dumb dumpster, dumb four, dumb person. You never, ever, ever call anyone an imbecile. And you never, ever, ever call one of the world's great geniuses like me an imbecile. You would be a halfwit to do that. So uh, there you are. He has to fix an economy ruined by Trump. I don't think uh, Trump ruined a thing dumb for. I think maybe dumb for you need to get yourself a tiny bit of education. You've used up your IQ of one. And I would suggest that uh, you go and learn a little bit about American politics. So there we are. Donald Trump, I think maybe the Donald will be coming back. Mon the Path. We love the Path. Gone our dinky do. Share the video, guys. Scott Swahey. Send this round to everybody on TikTok. Partly there are, how many people are on TikTok? 800 million. So Scotty McClue should have something like 789 million likes and followers. 
So get working on that. Are you the old guy? No, Daniel, I'm the young guy. The old guy doesn't do TikTok, as far as I understand. Have you ever been to Loch Lomond? Oh, Louisa, many a time have I been to Loch Lomond. Oh, my goodness, do bears visit the woods? Yes, absolutely. Uh, so there we are. Go play with traffic. Yes, Stanzibar, you tell dumb for SSD. Dumb for silly, silly boy. Imagine knocking the Donald. Uh, share the live, everybody. I thank you very much. Fantastic stuff. Uh, what a place. Thank you, Regvim. So there we go. Well, Martin, I can't discuss that on here. I can tell you. Which part of Wales are you from? Oh, I think I be from the valleys. Because I go to chapel regularly. I say yakida to everybody. And um, also I sing in a male voice choir. I sing a baritone. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. Come on, sir, Scotty, the squeeze box. Dinky you do. Know, what will you be having for breakfast? Well, there's a little bit of um, dry cure bacon and an egg, maybe two eggs, awaiting. There we are. Let's go, man. I am still here. You are such a topper. Dinky do, I say to you. I love your hat. Uh, thank you, Han. Very, very important. Now, guys, I would never ask for everything or anything, but I am saying to you, if you're feeling generous this morning, throw me a few TikToks because I have to buy a piece of equipment and uh, it's for the phone in on YouTube. Have you all subscribed to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel? Get yourselves on there, I say. Duncan has followed us. I thank you. I love your hat. Hand me 29 years old, this hat. Stanzi Barr, thank you so much. You don't have to do that. Nobody must feel obliged to give Scotty TikToks, but if you've got a few going, I'll take them. I'll take them on the chin because I've got to buy this equipment. Fantastic. Hey, Scotty, what's going on? Carlton Yanks, what we're doing is we're going to broadcast either on YouTube or a big radio station. They're both in the pipeline. Stanzi Barr, that was so very, very kind of you. Thank you very, very much. As I say, there is never an obligation to give McClue anything. And uh, these TikToks are absolutely free to you. But if anybody is feeling a bit flush, I do have to buy a piece of equipment. And it would be wonderful if you threw me a few TikToks just to pick up the last pennies of it. Uh, that's tremendous. And we can get moving forward, you see. We need to move forward, I say. McClue's been about now in his 30th year. So we need to move forward back to the phone ends, talking to the people what Scotty McClue does best. Television, radio, newspapers, online. Hello from Massachusetts. Joe, we lovely to hear from you. Are you in Boston? In Mass. Is that the McClue Tartan with the small chicks? <laughs> I see what you just did there. How good is that? Can you name me a random footballer for an edit, please? George Best. The tremendous stuff. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. And Dinky Doo, you're watching Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on TikTok just for you. This is the big one. It's gone 16 minutes past nine. If you were going for the nine o'clock bus, there's every chance you've missed that. But on the other hand, uh, there we are. George Best it is. I thank you, Ibi. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Right, I do have to get my lazy bones up now. Thanks for the entertainment. Atrocious. You do not need to get up unless there is a crisis. Is it for a call? A call of nature. What news do you have for us today, Potterpots? Brilliant news today. I've uploaded new TikToks, so I want every single TikToker to be liking and sharing the videos. I am going to be doing a phone-in on the YouTube channel, so I think everybody should subscribe and tap the bell. Uh, right now, you'll see the URL in front of your face there. I'm saving up for a piece of equipment for phone-ins. If anybody's feeling generous, throw me a few TikToks. Stanzi Bars just sent me 50. 
And also tonight at 11 p.m., we're doing our third program of cars on YouTube. And it's proving so popular. So don't ever miss cars on Scotty McClure's YouTube channel at 11 p.m. on a Saturday night. What about that, dinky do? But there we are. It's fantastic. That wasn't why you called, was it? Uh, fantastic. Now, I phoned uh, Alex Belfield, hashtag a VOR, Voice of Reason, the other night. And I am the first call on Wednesday, August the 18th, phone in. So get on to that. It's on the YouTube channel. You'll see it there. Wonderful stuff. So lots and lots of news for you. What about that for starters, Bottle Pots? That's pretty big, isn't it? I said you. And did dinky do. So lots and lots of news there. Watching from Edinburgh, Scotland. Duncan, we love Edinburgh. How is your weather this morning? Whereabouts are you in the tune? Are you in the suburbs? Apparently there's been roadworks on the radio. Stansy Bar, thank you so much. I'll try to attend. However, I also plan on getting hammered. Joe, chuck getting hammered and watch Scotty McClue. Far better for you. Well, there we are. Dinky do. Good morning, Scotty. I'm over in Uist doing a bit of fishing. Not far away from where Hercules was caught. McPhee, are you on are you on Uist? Are you North Uist or South Uist? Where was Hercules caught? I say to you, come raha u hachaba. Maha, stands a bar, thank you. Raining in Leith. I know Leith so well, because I broadcast from number one shed, Albert Key. Scott FM Radio, tremendous. I've been reading all about the talisman in the Columba this week, fine vessels. Now, John Young is at the tal well, it's the talisman of 1935. She was an LNER vessel. So, of course, she would be called after Walter Scott, characters of things. And uh, the Columba was 1873. She was actually built for David Hutchison uh, to have the sister ship, the Iona. And then David McBrain took over. I think he was a nephew of Hutchison's. And uh, the Columba ran until 1935. My father used to tell me he was on her as a boy. It's a pleasure meeting you. Take good care of yourself. Joe from Massachusetts. Joe 1962. A privilege and honor and a pleasure meeting you from Massachusetts. Dinky do. The lights all went out in Massachusetts. Scotty, what's your clan? My clan. I have several clans. I've got my Glen Gary here, I'm sure. My trusted Glen Gary. There she is. Ha ha. And you'll see my own badge. Whew. I'll just do a quick hat swap for you. There you are. There's the hand of justice. You'll know what that is. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, hello from Albania. James Flood in Albania. Lovely to have you with us. The honor is mine, says Joe. Not at all, Joe. The honor is mine. You people are beautiful people. Amazing knowledge. Having been reading about them all week, I confirm your dates are spot on. John Young, there we are, on, on board the Columba. She was very fast. She left Glasgow at 11 minutes past seven. She was known as the 7-Eleven, and she would have made Ardrishig by one o'clock. Big gleaming paddle engines, and as I say, on board there was the barbers, the post office, beautiful, beautiful restaurants for all the meals, and, uh, you know, you would have had breakfast when you were leaving Glasgow. And you would be up on deck if the weather was fair. See what I just did there. To see all the shipyards and everything. Because she left from Bridge Wharf, uh, you know. And um, then she would be back up to Glasgow at night. Lovely big gleaming paddle steamer. And imagine running from 1878 to 1935. 57 years of service. From a coal-fired paddle steamer. She was stunning. Because they used to sing. Uh, hooray, hooray, the Columbus on its way. In our Drishig school. You know. And uh, then you had the Saint Columba. Which was built as the Queen Alexandra. The second Queen Alexandra. The first one had a fire. And was sold to Canadian Pacific Railways. And became the Princess Patricia. And the Princess Pat was much loved in Canada at Vancouver. 
And then uh, what you had was uh, a replacement in 1912. Beautiful two-funnel turbine steamer, Queen Alexandra. She was bought and she became the St. Columba. They added a funnel, a dummy funnel. And uh, I will, I've got a photo of the St. Columba and I say to people, which what funnel do you think is the dummy one? They're going, I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. The trick is the other two are steaming. This one's not. So there you are, John. Good morning, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for following. Can you name a random footballer? No, we've done all that. We've done all that random stuff. We don't do random. That's for, uh, it tends to be for we trolls that do that sort of thing on other people's lives. Remember, this is Scotty McClue live on TikTok just for you. This is huge. This is not just some wee thing that you troll. So there we are. So we've done all that, all these mentioning things and what you have. All right, guys. Now, um, how about a Danish guy? A Danish guy, okay. Uh, who can I mention from Denmark? I'm just trying to think. What about the Great Dane? That would be good, wouldn't it? The Great Dane. Shall I swap hats or shall I hang on to the Glengarry? It's up to you guys. What do you think? A hat swap or a Glengarry? I don't mind. Did you do for Scott McGrew? Morton v. Queen's predictions. Well, John, if I give you the score right now, Nobody will watch the game. How popular would that make me with the television stations? Because I would imagine Morton and Queens will be huge. Uh, good morning, sir. Late start for me. Co Brandist, you're very, very welcome. A Glen Derry. No, John T. It's a Glen Gary. What's the hat for? It's for covering your head. So there we are. That's its main function. Lovely to have you with us. I'll just bring my, my ribbons round. Where are they? Oh, there we go. That looks better, doesn't it? Fantastic. We love it. There's my family crest on the side. There we are. What's your Bible preference? My Bible preference would be, I think, both Old and New Testament, but I do like the New Testament, and I like the St. Luke when uh, the story of Christ's birth and there were in that same country shepherds abiding in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared, and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for unto you in the city of David this day a child is born, and his name shall be Wonderful, Counselor, the Prince of Peace. Oh! Opinions on Afghanistan, I'm shocked at the behavior in Afghanistan. I think it is dreadful. But let's not be naive about it. Somebody must have been talking to the Taliban. There are, you don't suddenly have create a power vacuum and then it gets filled and everybody feigns surprise. Oh, we didn't expect this. So come on, let's all grow up. Uh, so there we go. Now, what have you got here? That's a very awful thing to say, Uki he. I think you need to grow up. So there we are. Peter Cook and Dudley Moore, the shepherd scene, brilliant stuff called Brandeth. Naughty, naughty boy. Yes, I did like Peter Cook and Dudley Moore. Good evening, Duke of Dundee, Onion Bajie. How lovely to have you with us and a very, very good morning to you. I can tell you. There we are. Fantastic. Just having everybody joining us there this morning. How good is that, guys? It is just outstanding. There we are. Now, uh, which guest was the most fun on your show? Oh, all of them. We had terrific guests in the show. I loved um, interviewing. The most fun, the most interesting was actually David Icke. When I interviewed David Icke, he was very, very interesting. Can you play with the doodle sack, Rolo Turco? Are you from Holland? Ha, come in to Hussa. Wiltshire Cooper de Hebben. There we are. I'm a veering a mine clumpen. Do you like mutton here in the United States? Hardly anyone eat sheep. Is it allowed, Tom? Because somebody told me black pudding and haggis were banned. We didn't like that. I'm going to change my cap, guys. Excuse me a wee second. Woo! I'll put off the famous McClure, Glengarry, and pop on my bonnet again. 
Uh, so, Scotty, I'm going to uh, a cover band on Sunday afternoon. Have you ever listened to Heaven Stands in Bar? No, 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 I haven't listened to that gentleman, but that sounds amazing. Wonderful stuff to have you. Uh, now, Kaz, thank you for joining. Were there any guests that hugely disappointed, John? Absolutely none. All my guests have been outstanding. I had, of course, David Heyman, the actor, on. You'll hear that on YouTube if you put in Scotty McClure talks to David Heyman. Bill McMurdo, the football agent, very famous football agent. My agent, George Best's agent, of course. He was fascinating as well because he told us what it was like around at the time of George and the Beatles and all these things happening. Ringo Starr phoning up to speak to George. Uh, so no, nobody has ever disappointed in my show. You know, we've had fascinating people. I wish John Young you'd heard the Red Rose phone-in guests. They were amazing as well. So nobody has ever disappointed in the interview. They've all been incredible. But I think if you call yourself an interviewer, you should be able to bring out the best in people. Wonderful stuff, you know. Nobody should be a disappointment to the listeners. And if they are, you just uh, shut it down and say, well, thanks for popping in. You know, but you pick your guests so that you're interviewing top people anyway. There we are. Stanzi Barr, you're very kind with these TikToks. I thank you. A parting gift, Sir Scotty, heading off. Beer to drink. Stanzi Barr, thank you so much for all your kindness, all your generosity, all your support, and for being from Northern Ireland. Now, not too much of the beer for you, I say to you. Puddle Pots, thank you for your lovely red rose. Stanzi Barr, what are you doing? Stop. Stansy Barr is way over the top here with the TikToks. Amazing. That'll allow me to buy the piece of equipment for the phone in. Everyone has something to say. John Young, they do indeed. And you've got a lot of good things to say. I might interview you someday. Stansy Barr, what are you doing? He's gone way over the hundred, guys. Can everybody see Stansy Barr? He is being amazingly kind and thoughtful to Scotty McLuhan, giving me huge huge TikToks. Do you know how many sent? 200. Stanzi Barr, I thank you, sir. You're a gentleman and a scholar from the north of Ireland. Wow, my 200 TikToks, guys. I'm saving up for a piece of equipment for the uh, phone-in. And um, I, I just think you people are so kind. I thank you very much. Nobody's obliged to give a thing. Have you written any books, Scotty? If not, why not? I'm sure anything would be a bestseller. Well, Cobrandus, you're very kind. I am, I'm halfway through uh, Deliverance from Evil. And you'll hear chapter one on YouTube. If you put in Scotty McClue, Deliverance from Evil, in Scotty McClue will come up and read it to you. Chapter one. There we are. Tell me what you think. I want an honest opinion, Cobrandus. We really need to get this show off the ground, Scotty. Huge appeal. John Young, uh, everybody's wanting it. A big proper phone in. People have attempted it. And, you know, beware of imitations, I would say. People have used my lines, my pattern, my style, but it doesn't seem to wash. So there we are. Zach, we did all that. We feel this is trolling this name of footballer for an edit. We think it might be a troll line. Am I correct? Any uh, experts on TikTok on right now thinking this might be trolling? I'll check it out. Cheers, Scotty. Are you doing cars tonight, Cobrandus? Number three tonight at 11 o'clock sharp. Well, I was a minute late last week, but we're doing cars number three. Come and join us because lots of chat uh, on cars tonight on Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. 11 o'clock tonight, folks, you can join us for Cars. Program number three. We just started a couple of weeks ago. It's not a troll. People ask for a footballer, and then they go and make an edit about it and tag you. All right. Okay, then, Zach. So, George Best. Fantastic. I'll be there. In the video they make, yes, do you like One Direction? Well, I used to be a member of a boy band and it was called No Direction. Uh, so there we are. We didn't do terribly well. Caroline and Becca, thank you. You are so kind. Thank you for your red rose. Cool band. Absolutely a cool band. I'll tell you what I went to see. Do you remember Blue and Pink? There we are. Boys own, girls allowed, all that sort of thing, lol. 
Can you say happy birthday to my... No. Now, Bad Ramden. What shall we do with Bad Ramden, guys? Shall we send him down the Swanee for attempting to troll? Or shall we leave him and see if he grows up and maybe can make a sensible contribution to TikTok's talk, talk show? What do we think? Have a read of what he said. We'll leave him just now. Doing the Swanee with him? All right. Uh, good morning, Mr. Scotty McClue. Now double waxed, double vaxxed. So I thought you said double waxed, wonky pint. Wonderful. So you're safe to come on TikTok. That's fabulous. We'll not be catching anything from you on here. Doing the Swanee with them. Why do so many people have a pop at you, Scotty? Because I'm a huge public figure. Remember, two billion people have heard of Scotty McClue. Now that's that's big. And um and you know, they wish they were Scotty McClue. They're also very, very low on intelligence. Their intelligence quotient, IQ, is minimal. And therefore, they don't know how to give kindness or compliment or thought, you see. So they have a go. And that will always be the way. You'll always get the daft. There we are. Not quite up there with Joe Loss. I saw him at the Highlanders Institute. Ah, oh, John Young. I loved the Highlanders Institute, you know, the stuff. My father was a great one. He was a great Scottish fiddle player. Very, very high standard. So there you are. Good morning from Hamilton. Sharon, are we Hamilton in Scotland? Or are we Hamilton? Where in Hamilton are we? I'm back, bro. Please name a Danish footballer. Oh, a Danish footballer. What about, uh, who did we have from Denmark? Uh, we used to have a wonderful man played for Morton. Was he Danish? Eric Sorensen. There we go. Scotty McClure is the most recognizable radio host to date, yet TikTok still haven't verified him. No wonky point. I find that very, very strange. I think they weren't sure how to handle me at first. Uh, so there we are. They need to get alive then. All you do is providing a bit of light relief. We are alcohol. And then the phone-in will be starting on YouTube. So can everybody get on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel? You'll see the URL in front of you. And um, tap the bell. Subscribe and tap the bell. Very, very important. Now then, I'm just wondering, when did I come on here? Does anybody remember? Uh, is the daft is a hint of jealousy. That's why they troll. Yes, wonky pint. You see, jealousy is very, very dangerous because you never know how or when it will manifest itself. And there are a huge number of green-eyed monsters who like to attack Scotty McClue rather than uh, praise. But you see, I don't mind. I don't need the praise uh, because if you think about it, I have always accepted applause or derision on my merits. So if the thing's good, the audience will come. If it's not so good, they won't. Uh, and that's it. So you're always going to get that. Plus, remember nowadays, there's so much media around. There you are. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. Dinky do. It's raining in Hamilton, Scotty. Now, that's not really news, is it? Let's have it straight. Although it must have been beautiful recently along the Bothwell Road. Were you ever in the plaza or the palais? The plaza in Glasgow. Uh, no, I didn't. I was actually a wee bit young for dancing at the plaza. But my boss, who was 30, when I was 18, he said, oh, I used to go to the plaza all the time. And the palais, of course. The palais glide. No dafty is funning in. Uh, well, you'll get the odd dafty funning in, but not they don't last. Neil, lovely to have you with us. Or oh, Nally, Nally, sorry. It's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming home. What we're talking about, the pizza? There we go, fantastic. Good morning, Scotty. How are you? I am outstanding, Brett. And it is so lovely to have you all with us. Welcome, welcome to Saturday morning. Hashtag Floatai, live on TikTok. The first lord of the internet, sing hello. Scotty, just sing hello before bed. Sean, a very, very good night to you. It must be really knocking on a bit. Are we midnight, one o'clock? I'm trying to work it out from what you told me the other day. From England, wonderful. Sue Sigmar, thank you for your, my beautiful red roses. 
Guys, I've never asked for anything on TikTok, but if anybody's feeling generous this morning, I'm saving for a piece of equipment for the phone in. So if anybody's got a few spare TikToks, chuck them in, you know what I mean? But don't, you're not obliged. Supposed to be painting the boat today, Scotty. What do you know? It's lashing. You can't paint in the rain called Brandist. It ruins the paint. Lovely excuse for you to watch Scotty McClure and just go on your phone for a bit. There we are. Is Big Roddy still standing? Wonky. Big Roddy has lost his colour. He's just sort of looking at everybody with a, a very green face. Oh, he's going, where's my petal? Dinky-doo, baby, dinky-doo. Lovely to have you with us. Fantastic. So there we are now. Uh, Ollie boy, you need to grow up big time or we'll just toast you and send you straight to the swanee. You're what we call a wee troll. All right, you're what we call a troll. Good morning from Florida. We love you. Thank you very much. Bonnie Livingston in Florida. Thank you for my 10 beautiful red roses. I am still here. Thank you so much. You've already been so generous this morning. Please stop. There we are. So lovely to have you. Uh, where are you from, Sir Sue? I'm from TikTok, Sue, from the universe. I am TikTok's top talk show from Scotland in the United Kingdom. I've been quadruple jabbed now. Wow, we'll not be getting too much from you then. Uh, so there we are. Uh, what do we do with Dundalk? Dundalk, I know it very well. I remember Dundalk. And he says... Um, Oh, you always get it right, you, Scotty. You get it right, yeah, he says. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dundalk. And the same to your good self. I'm sure you get it right, yeah, as well. Booking a trip for, uh, to come and do the Falkirk wheel. May I have to sell a kidney for so-called Brenda's stop. <sighs> I see what you did there. Thank you for 35 beautiful weights, I am still. You are just so kind. So very, very kind. And we've never met, but we have, if you know what I mean. You know, we, we're TikTokers. Aha, uh -huh. it's almost 1.40 a.m., 20 minutes to 2 in the morning. Sean P.H., get to sleep, la, la. There we are. Uh, let me in, sir. Dinky do. I, yes, you're in. You should be in. I am still. I don't see what the problem is because I've got, ah, just a minute. Aha. Uh -huh. We're having a guest on, guys, in a second or two. Let's see. We're getting a I am still with us. I am still. <laughs> Good morning, love. How are you, my friend? This is an absolute privilege. <laughs> because I, I mean... can thank you in person for all your kindness. I am floored. In the fact that you actually gave me access, I am. Why not? I mean, Why not? You know, I mean, you give me access to you. I, I mean, honestly, I am floored. I am. You know, I and um, it, it's it's great to see you. It's great to uh, acknowledge the fact that um, your your lives to me are the best um, they come across. Just dark, and um, I am just dumbfounded by, <laughs> by the fact that you gave me a platform. I, I am well, why not? Because you are so lovely, and you're such a kind, and you've been so good to me. Because, as you know, like perhaps yourself, having a tough time, but we don't go on about any of that because why would we? Uh, you know, it's not what people need to hear. I mean, tough times may be trying to get out of Afghanistan at the moment, you know. That's a tough, tough times may be wondering where your next meal's coming from. So we can't go on about tough times. So Brandis, what are you doing? So Brandis has been extremely generous. I think he's got the I am still here bug. And uh, so that's what he's doing. Now, please remind me, where are you from again? So um, I live in Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh, Sir Raleigh, Sir, Raleigh, Sir Walter Raleigh. Um, wow. So I, I, I know where I'm at. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, originally oh, yeah, from Carolinas. Denson, Florida. What's that? The Carolinas. I've been told 
Yes. Somebody said, Scotty, if you want to be a big star in America, go to the Carolinas. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> I mean, um, I it's, it. it's a very receptive it's a very receptive area, that's for sure. Yeah. It is. Yeah. You know, and, um, yeah, I mean, you know, growing up in the panhandle of Florida, that that's originally where I'm from, uh, Destin, Fort Walton Beach, Florida, that area. Um, they had the tropical storms here recently, and um, you know, they you know, did phenomenally and had no issues with you know my, my, my friends or family that were there. But um they did great. And um, you know, it's it's what it is. It's part of living there. <laughs> so it did yeah. good. We love it. It's fantastic. I am still, it's just been so good to have you with us. And again, such a big thank you for your kindness. Absolutely. I I, I just love you guys. I just I, I wish I'd had more lives, you know what I mean? Because someday I'll just run out of time. And I've had I've been so lucky in my life. I've met so many beautiful people. Well, let, me, well, let me just say why why I love what you do is the fact that you're very perceptive, you're very just honest about things, and um, to me, you know, being in the U.S. and things like that, we we love honesty, and yeah. you've been very honest about all the things that you are about, and that to me speaks volumes about yourself, and I don't know great about your background. I all I can speak is to what I've seen. And to me, it's been phenomenal. So um, I just, yes, absolutely. I am, I am 100% a fan of yourself. And um, I, I appreciate the platform to give me a, a second. And um, I, I can't say more than that. Um, I don't know how many people have actually broken in to have a duel with you. But, um, you know, I am, no, I feel honored. There are so many young people coming in. And people are going, he's talking to young people. And I thought, we should all be able to talk to young people. It's talking, you know. <laughs> this is what poor young people, they can only get their media from their phones. So they're yeah. not used to conversation. So, but with a couple of super people on, but then when you go to upload it, sometimes it causes a problem because people say, we don't have the other person. Or, yeah, we, yeah. Don't, you know, we don't mind uploading your stuff, but you've now included someone else's stuff. But somebody like yourself, you are the first, uh, you know, proper, sensible duo that we've had. Well, not, no, we had a couple of good kids on, but they didn't really know what to say. You know, they just hit the button. I get it. You know? I get it. I get it. Yeah. They hit the button and they were trying to see what it was all about. I mean, you know, for myself, you know, um, being a, a guy who's, you know, I'm, I'm a military brat, right? So um, I, was bo I was born in Italy, Vicenza, Italy, outside of Alviano. And um, so I've done the gambit of moving around um, outside of the U.S. and things like that. So it's it's great to see, you know, especially I, I think I told you um the uh, you know, just texting back and forth. Um, my 23 me, like, I'm my family is based in you know, Irish. It's 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 <laughs> I was so shocked how much it was Irish, you know. Yeah. And I'm like, God, wow, okay, I'm I'm Irish, you know. And <laughs> even my family was shocked and how much it was Irish and Scottish. And um, I'm just like, okay. All right, cool. You've I'm got, like, you've, I, got um, the you've got the Celt in you. You're Celt. <laughs> so uh, I have so on true on true story, I have rocked the um Roddy Piper kilt, W WF style, um as a as a um um a uh, costume for Halloween. I have done that, and I didn't realize how much it was me like i <laughs> you know yeah. like okay all right so roddy got it right so roddy got america, it right. america loves it i mean one of the beautiful things and obviously these are huge generalizations but americans will take you seriously if you take them seriously yeah. and they don't mock they don't giggle or laugh or is that a skirt your way they love their patterns they accept the tribal thing the clan system 
you yeah. know, it's huge. And um, and I think because so much of Ireland and Scotland is America, you know. Yeah, and people don't get it sometimes. They just don't. And, you know, so my wife, who's half Latino, probably like 70% Latino, um, when I got, she didn't know, she didn't know who her dad was. She didn't know who her dad was and, you know, had very limited interaction. And I got the 23 me for her. I just did. And, um, she did that and discovered a lot about herself. And, um, she's like, I want to get it for you. I'm like, okay, cool. And, uh, she's like, you know, I don't, I know what's going to come out of it. You know, like, all right, they're just going to say you're white. Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love, I love the guy. You know, there's a kind of snobbery in England because they have this class yeah. system, and I love yeah. the guy that said, "I am 100% pure English." Oh, he was 65% yeah. Argentinian when they mm-hmm. examined his DNA. We love it. So, the funny part is, I am linked to the hanging judge, the hanging judge, Judge, judge Jeffries. Jeffries. Just I am I am I am linked to him. Um, didn't know his background or pedigree, but uh, reading upon it, I'm like, oh damn, like okay. Right, that's a serious guy, you know. And I was like, oh wow, okay, so I am linked to this this individual, and um, you know, it, it's weird, um, but it's the Anglo-Saxon portion of my heritage. And I get that. And, um, you know, the, the 23 Me portion of it gave me more insight of the British, um, Scottish, Irish portion of it. I'm like, wow. Okay. And it, it's really cool that we have that kind of insight now um, when we didn't have it before. And it's it's very eye-opening. And um, I'm someone who's uh, in seek of the truth and seek of um, how I was, you know, where I come from, right? And you can, um, you I was handle with... the truth. You see, this is you've got a lovely way with you. You've seen and done so much in your life that you're mm-hmm. actually all interested in the truth now. The truth I... has no appeal to you. You see, and I—that's the level. That's the the stage I'm at as well. And it's a fabulous place to be. Because you think, well, if you're telling me the truth, you know, and I, yeah. as you've probably heard me say, I trusted one guy. Uh, and I made a mistake. I shouldn't have trusted him. Uh, you know, he was the only bad man I've met in my life because I've trusted hundreds of people and it's always come right. You know, so, okay, you make one mistake. You know what I mean? You learn from it. You learn from it. You, know, you do. Style. Yep. But look at the beautiful people I've met on this TikTok. I mean, it's incredible. And they are beautiful people. But I, I, So I'm going to leave you be. I, I think it's an honor that I got to talk to you. Um, I've been looking forward to this before you can even know. And um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to bid you a good night. This is amazing. I am still have a fabulous night. Stay you fabulous. Too. Love being you because it's a great thing to be. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you, Dima. Yes. Yep. <laughs> what a top man. Now, what do we do here? He's on. That was I Am Still, guys. Absolutely amazing. Come on, the tune. Cole Brandis has sent 330 TikToks. Cole Brandis, just my small contribution to your upcoming phone-ins. You will get that back a million-fold. <laughs> I will send you joy. Uh, do you like Haggis? Good morning, Scotty. What's popping, G? That was lovely. That was I Am Still. Hello, Scotty. How are you? Dinky do. Thank you so much. Not at all, I am still. What a privilege and an honor for all of us. Uh, I got a new car yesterday, Scotty. Uh, would you like to hint what you've got? You don't need to tell us luxury cars, but perhaps you could hint at what you've got. How amazing is that? Guys, I can't believe the time. I'm going to have to push off in a few minutes. It's been a real privilege being with you. I can't believe we're just talking to, we've just spoken and talked with I Am Still in America. Just amazing. What a lovely, lovely guy. Uh, I just meet so many beautiful people on here. It's really quite humbling. Uh, Scotty McClue, hands across the Atlantic. Co-Brandis, 
hands right across the Atlantic, but thank you so much for your kindness there. Are you in a relationship? Ross, don't be ridiculous. Who would have me? Right, so there we go. Uh, thank you for joining us, guys. It was an honor, sir. No, no, the honor was all ours. I am still fascinating. And uh, I don't want to come up in front of Judge Jeffries, but I loved coming up in front of you. That was just amazing. So there we are. I hope everybody could see that. Guys, could you all see I am um, when he was uh, when he was streaming there? Did you have a big picture or a small picture? What did you have? Because I'm just learning that's the first time we've had a serious call on. It's our privilege. Always a joy. See you tonight. God brandest. I shall see you tonight big time for program three of cars. Law wouldn't go against him. No, no. You're a warm and funny man, Ross. You are very, very kind. Right. I'm going to have to push off in a couple of minutes. Anybody else want to have a quick chat? And uh, what we'll do, guys... Uh, we'll maybe introduce a little feature because we need to move the TikToks on. But meantime, very quickly, can you go and watch all the videos, like them and share them? Can you follow me as soon as you possibly can live on TikTok here? And uh, can you get on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel and subscribe and tap the bell because we're going to be having the phone in. Follow us as soon as you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, this is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Have a great day. Stay fabulous. And ta -ra -las. Quote of the day. What's the hat for? It's for covering my head. We love it. Call Brandon. And dinky-doo. <laughs>